So you got major corporations in industries like fast food and direct selling that created organizational schemes such as franchising and independent contracting, and they depicted themselves as engines of small business creation, even though they would continue to exert significant control over the working conditions and decision-making of their ostensibly entrepreneurial workforce, a bit like today's gig economy. People who gave self-employment a try, you know, usually found it required more work and more difficulties and just didn't pay off, right? It was much worse than uh, being a worker among workers. Now, being a worker among workers is not exciting. It's hard to have some grandiose conception of yourself when you in learn to internalize the priorities of your superiors, but it's just an effective way to go through life. So there's a Mexican immigrant, Antonio Perez, who graduates from selling merchandise on the street to owning his own grocery store in Chicago. But his sales at the store were so inconsistent, he found himself driving a truck around the city, peddling products on the street in his spare time. I know professionals who've given serious consideration to driving for Uber. I mean, the, the gig economy has, has been lifted up as you know, some kind of entrepreneurial vision. That's why so many of my friends want me to develop a side hustle.